Here's another video from WeldingTipsAndTricks.com. Today we're shifting gears off of TIG welding. We're going to talk about MIG welding and a MIG welding repair, a common repair for a machine shop. Now this is a crappy job, and what I mean by crappy is what you're seeing there, that brown stuff, that's that's crap. It's like a real crap, man. This is a, uh, a sewer remote control tractor and it runs in sewage and you know welding jobs don't always come nice and pristine and clean so if you want work sometimes you gotta be willing to hold your breath and uh, you know take it on so these are mis these are holes were damaged threads and the machinist cut them out deep they're pretty small holes only about uh, roughly 3 16 diameter maybe 3 quarters deep uh, fine thread and they got broke tap broke off studs in them and whatnot and so uh, the job here machinist just cut them out to allow for welding and my job is to weld them and try to put some solid metal in there so that when the holes are drilled through the center again the metal's good and solid without a bunch of holes and porosity in there so that good fine threads can be cut and it can be good as new so that's what I'm doing here I'm pumping a bunch of metal in there and I've got to be careful because there is some crud that seeped into to, uh, the seams of the metals and it wants to kind of spooge out when I'm when I'm welding it and uh, if I'm not careful I'm going to wind up with big pockets of porosity so I'm trying to weld down all the way into the corner starting off on the corner to get it heated up on the outside and then rolling it on into the middle and into the bottom and I've got it sped up here in fast motion because number one you really can't see anything to benefit you I just want to give you an idea on the sequence and how it's done here I'm swapping the swapping the heat around from hole to hole so I don't get it too hot because when I get it too hot I can't put a a nice small tight bead on the corner for contouring so when it can be machined uh, to look like new again so there was five holes here total uh, fortunately I said the machinist hogged them out for me and uh, so all I've got to do worry about is put putting a uh, good sound weld metal in there and enough of it and so after I'm done uh, with the with the bulk of it I do some touch up on the ends and on the corners I'm using a Millermatic 250 here, probably about 19 volts and between 200 and 230 inches a minute of wire, uh, 7525 argon CO2 gas, and uh, just, just normal stuff, nothing fancy. So a common job, a common, a common job that you can pick up if you're looking, if you've got your own little small welding service and you're looking for work, is machine shops that uh, misdrill, miscut things that they have uh, money and labor tied up in and uh, you know if you're willing to to uh, to do little small jobs like that you can pick up a little a little work and get your welding business started and that's the tip for you